Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, bringing you the second of the two Boozer's Bracket semifinals. This one is between Complexities Naniwa and MTW Mind Factory's Damaga. The first game here will be played on Shakuras Plateau. And uh, let's go ahead and get this game underway. We do have in the top right corner of Shakuras Plateau, spawning as the green Protoss from Sweden. It is Complexity Gaming's Naniwa. Now spawning in the top left, we have the Red Zerg, a great player, he's actually one of the only players to ever beat Nest T in ZVZ, it is MTW Mine Factory's Damaga. Now based on what we've seen from Naniwa's PVZ in games that I've casted before, Naniwa will definitely forge fast expand every single game he plays against Damaga. Here comes the probe, there goes the pylon. Yep, no doubt about it. An idiot could have called that one. Now, Damaga, I uh, have, unfortunately, I've heard a lot about Damaga, but I really don't get to watch him play all that much. He's, I've heard he's actually a very, very, very talented player, and I'd really like to get to see him play a lot more. I'm going to have to really start paying more attention. But uh, we'll have to see what build he comes up with. Looks like he's most likely going to go for a very economic build. He's on 14 right now. Uh, Naniwa is going for a forge first. He's not not going to throw the Nexus first. And Damaga is going to scout him because it is close by A area that Overlord is going to get there. So he's going to know where he is pretty quickly. And looks like Damaga going to throw down a pool on 15 as opposed to a hatch on 15. It's interesting. Could be a new build. Maybe he meant to throw down on 14. Who knows? It's cool nonetheless. Naniwa, it's getting about that time. It, okay. It looks like he might see if he's going to get the cannon or the nexus first. Based on where the probe is, he is going to go for the nexus first. And Naniwa trolling here. Ooh, he just that pylon. Gonna mess up. We gotta mess up Damaga's build a little bit. Screw with him a little bit. Make him kill the pylon before he throws down that hatch. This overseer, or this overlord rather, just coming in, not in his base, going, oh hey, nothing's here, it must be a forge fast expand. Nexus before cannon, so a little bit more economic than throwing that cannon up first. A little more dangerous as well. But he is going to sit right there in 150. Boom, there goes the cannon. Cannon coming up, uh, pylon, will he cancel? Okay, he does finally at the last second cancel the pylon. Zergling's now out to chase that probe away, and boom, there goes the hatchery. Sometimes you can see a Protoss player sweep in there and just catch the edge, and sometimes delay it even more, and man, is that irritating when that happens as a Zerg player. Gateway now coming down, along with pylon here, he's gonna create a little choke here, gonna throw that zealot right up there, not let anything pass. We can actually see where he throws the cyber core. But let's see. The Nexus is now almost done. He's actually gonna get that Nexus out a little before the hatchery. Ooh! Damaga, very, very smart. Does go ahead and take that quick third, knowing that Naniwa cannot have an army at this time. Cannot push out, do anything about it. Very, very smart. A lot of Zerg players have been doing that recently. The Nexus pops up, Gateway pops up, there goes the Cyber Nexus core, right back there, giving the cannon a little bit more time to shoot, have to run by the cannon a little bit longer. Like the first gas coming up for Damaga, second gas coming up for Damaga, most likely going to see some roaches when two gases come up at about that time. We do have a Ling chasing around a probe. Damaga does have very good map control right now with those lings. Zerg can take very, very good early map control against a Protoss with a four chest expand because all you have to really do is get out a couple lings and you can just take the watchtowers and you know everything that's coming. But ooh, Naniwa is going to see that he throws up the third. Now, what we've seen Naniwa do before is behind this throw up Stargate. We've actually seen against Nest T in the game that he won, he threw up two Stargates. It's very, very interesting. He got a lot of Void Rays out and then got some Phoenixes out. And it was just uh, it was very, 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 very cool to see and very powerful. 
This probe <laughs> looks like Andy. Finally, that probe does die. Did get a good amount of scouting information, though. Queen now coming out, so he doesn't have to walk queen that queen across. Creep now connected between the main and the natural. Very, very smart. Roche Warren going down. Metabolic boost coming up. First century being worked in three gateways on the way for Naniwa. He, okay. So it looks like he might be doing a little bit of a gateway push. Don't know if we'll see that Stargate. He is trying to get out ground weapons one as fast as he can. Chrono boosting it out. Pro little proxy pylon right here for some warp ends. That Zergling did not see it. Pylon going down there, so... We could still see some Stargate play, I believe. Ooh, very good energy on Damaga's Queens. Very, very low, which means he's hitting his larva injects pretty well. But as I say it, he's not hitting that, and there it is. Ooh, Damaga really, really on top of these larva injects. Ooh, and this force is pushing out. Little force here, but... Ooh, that's a, that's a cute little pylon there. This pylon will eventually go down, but... Ooh, he warps in there. So he could take out this third pretty quickly. Roach is now popping out though for Damaga and 1420 Zerglings now, so nice cancel there by Naniwa. He should be able to push up into this. Zella does go down, but ooh, great force fields again by Naniwa. We've seen him do that in the past. Just force fielding off that call and he does it again. Force fielding off the ramp, so nothing can really get up there. Nothing can reinforce. Good force fields here too, allowed him to pick off a lot of units. Ooh, and those Zerglings will go down. And oh, he can now, because he can actually see, he can now warp up units on the high ground here while he force fields out and build up a little army. And here you go. Two sentries and two zealots warping in. Ooh, and back in his base, you have two Stargates coming up for Naniwa. So it looks like we will see some of that void ray pressure that we saw against Nesty. This roach will finally go down. And Naniwa has six centuries, to, or four zealots up here. That's actually a pretty decent force. And he should be able to force field this off all day long. Let's see, will he get another one down? And Damaga backing off a little bit. Damaga actually... Zerg missile attack one coming out. And uh, Damaga did see those Stargates with an Overlord, and Spore Crawlers are now coming up. It'll be interesting to see if he does what Nest T did and builds a lot of Queens, or if he maybe goes for Hydralis. Oh, no. There you go, Hydralis 10 coming up. Oh, my mistake, Damaga does not know Stargates are there, so he is just going Hydralis for the sake of going Hydralis. And these four Zealots doing some work on killing some Zerglings. Can't believe I underestimated Damaga's star sense there. He doesn't need to see the Stargates. He just knows they're there. Four Zealots coming up here. Making things run around. Ooh. Can he get one of the queens here? Ooh, no, he does not. Those roaches very, very timely. He is, though, getting killing a good amount of drones. Let's see, how many drones did he kill? He got a, eight drones killed. Very, very nice there. By Naniwa. Ooh, these sentries force fielding off the roaches. Very, very nice force field play by Naniwa. This... Hydralis are coming out, and Hydralis have a lot of DPX. He's going to go run over there so the Roaches can get off some shots. Force shooting once again. Those Zealots just... Ugh, bad micro there, and those Zealots just get picked off. No. Demogdo is just droning in the background. Nine drones coming out. Two Void Rays about to pop out for Naniwa. We're interested to see whether he actually tries to hold this with these sentries and warp in some more units with his pylon, or if he's just trying to make him look this way while he brings in these four void rays over here. And when these four void rays get in, uh, Damaga not, not exactly looking too good. Looks like this that sentry diversion with all these hydralists over here. 
was, uh, ooh, and he's throwing up a fourth right now. But these Void Rays are going to come in, and they could do some serious, serious damage. All charged up now. Spire now coming up. Zerg Missile Attack 2. Groove Spine's coming up for the Hydralis range. Three Queens are in there now, and boom, down goes one Void Ray. Another Void Ray getting out of the way. But Hydralis there, Hydralis kill Void Rays very, very quickly. And two Phoenixes coming in, and that was a poor rally point, and he's going to pay for it. Those two Sentries are going to get down, or two Phoenixes, rather. Well, Zealot Sentry Force out in front of his base. He pushes now with those and this and these five void rays. He can do a lot of damage. He's getting up a third as well. These void rays could deny this base. We'll have to see. And oh, that's a lot of hydralis. He's going to force those void rays to have to get the hell out of there. Just pick off a roach. Roach is not very good against void rays, being with the whole can't shoot up issue that they have. If they could just learn to shoot up, they could be so much better. Stalker's now warping in. He did think about researching Blink, but then he did cancel it. Instead opting for ground weapons too. Zerg Missile Attack 2, speaking of upgrades, and 16 drones in production for Damaga. I don't think he knows exactly what he's facing. He actually is facing a fairly formidable army. Hydralis, a lot of DPS, but they are glass cannons. And ooh, Zealot's running up, killing the Hydralis so, so quickly. Sentry's in the back, getting off some good force fields, limiting the arc that Kamaga can get, but ooh, it'll be interesting to see what... It looks like Naniwa will be able to... Oh, this is going to be a tight one. This is going to be close. It does look like Naniwa will barely, barely, barely kill off that force and Damaga could be in some trouble now. Zerg Missile Attack 2 is now out. Blink now being researched. Seven Zealots coming in. That means there are eight gateways. Seven gateways here, one at the front. Naniwa, eight gateways now. We're going to be able to warp in a whole bunch of units. And I think Damaga may have actually droned a little too hard, trying to get up some spine crawlers there. That Void Ray micro and force life, 11 hit points. A lot of Stalkers, though, being warped in. A lot of Zealots as well. He does take out one spine crawler while being made, two spine crawlers while being made. And this hatchery is going to go down as soon as he decides to shoot at it. There it goes. Hatchery down. And wow. Naniwa, good amount of probes there, good amount of probes there, good amount of probes there. Let's go ahead and see, and ooh, he is actually ahead, nine workers. Very, very impressive there. If we see, he still, he's only killed 14, so. Naniwa just getting very, very good worker production, and Damaga is now going to try to take a fourth up here in this bottom left, down here in this bottom left. It's hard to be up somewhere when it's on the bottom of the map. Naniwa moving in with this force. This is a big force. How many units? Only 14 roaches, 9 zerglings, and 2 hydralisks. Naniwa could very well just win the game right here. 9 hydralisks on the way for Damaga, but I don't think he's going to. And GG, there it is. He does not get the army out. And Naniwa, with a very, very good harassment force, got those stargates out, does take game 1 off of Damaga, and we'll have to see if Damaga can pull it back even in the next game. However, with Naniwa playing as well as he is, he will be hard-pressed to win the next game. But uh, we will be seeing that next game come up on the channel fairly soon, hopefully, if the uh, internet doesn't crap out on me like it did for Sin Select Game 3. And um, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully see you guys then. So uh, leave a comment, leave a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you like me and you want to see all these videos because I'm, I'm going to try to flood you guys with content pretty soon once I get a, uh, once I get a decent production cycle going. Uh, I do have a lot of them recorded and I'm just going to have to edit them and upload them, which actually does take a while. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys back for uh, game two, hopefully.
and uh, see you guys later.